130 acres of land with lush greenery, Sri Bhagyalakshmi Farms is situated off Mysore Road near Big Banyan Tree, Ramohalli. The farm is the dream and ambition of late Sri Amaranarayana Gupta, is well managed, nurtured and grown to new heights by his son Sri B. A. Nagaraj. I am treating like industry and my passion both. I am enjoying this uh, developing the farm. The farm is self-contained and built keeping the nature and environment in mind. It is managed by central and state horticultural experts and also highly qualified professionals. We are the first persons in uh, doing aquatic plants at uh, hydrophonics and we have a very main focus on uh, landscaping, vertical walls and bone size and uh, multidimensional and uh, self-sufficient form includes uh, we are using non-conventional energy sources for the power and uh, so water we are using judicially with uh, Israeli systems. 130 acres of F-classified land mainly the valley portion, surrounded by hillocks, a barren land a few years ago. In the hands of Sri B.A. Nagaraj and his team of experts, turn it into a lush green patch of horticulture crops with its own microclimate. Under the guidance of Sri C.R. Vijay Kumar, who has an experience of over four decades in agriculture, Everyone in this farm works towards one mantra. Go green, go clean, enjoy green. With this, we started different divisions in the farm. One of them is vertical green walls. It is the most innovative solution in indoor and outdoor landscaping. Sri Bhagalakshmi Farms is the pioneer in India. We have covered over 30,000 square feet of vertical walls with green across globe. This has a huge market in the world waiting to be conquered. The innovative wall panels does not leave any stains or marks on the wall. It is fully equipped with built-in irrigation system and it is easy and cost-effective to install. The next part is the most adored plants, rather I would say trees. At Sri Bhagyalakshmi Farms, we have more than 10,000 well-maintained bonsais. Also, we have very special rock bonsais. Uh, naturally developed bonsais from uh, all over Karnataka. We have a very good collection of uh, bonsais. Ages is uh, 8 years to 45 years. In the greenhouses at Sri Bhagalakshmi Farms, we have developed hydrophonic aquatic plants. We want to use this modern technique to grow these plants because these plants are coming from different parts of the world and we want to maintain different conditions for the different types of plants. So we need such a sophisticated greenhouse system to grow all these plants. And moreover, we want to multiply this plant by using the tissue culture techniques also. So we have a very sophisticated tissue culture lab. We have basically three categories of uh, plants, aquatic plants here. So one is the uh, carpet plants and the stem plants and the rosette plants. And also has a tissue culture lab exclusively with state-of-the-art infrastructure. We are the largest aquarium plant suppliers in India. We also undertake aquascaping for any requirements across the world with over 120 varieties of aquatic plants. At Sri Bhagalakshmi Farms, application of art, science, technology and business of plant cultivation is well understood. Under horticulture division, we have plantations and orchard crops. We are proud to say that 3,500 coconut palms of different varieties are there in the farm. Roughly about 1,000 palms is GB, that is called as Ganga Bondam, a dwarf variety which is known for excellent tender coconut. Apart from GB, we have got D into T, 
green and green to tea orange tip to tall and chocolate green chocolate orange mandarin dwarf all these varieties in house we produce humic acid organically this humic acid invigorates uh, the vigor in the uh, coconut palm thereby we get uh, better yields we have 2800 mango trees with various hybrid varieties like alfonso kesar raspuri neelam himampasam bengalura totapuri and also special varieties like malgowa and mallika sapota about 600 plants of kalipatti variety giving very good quality and tasty yield another speciality at the farm is lychees 560 plants with very good and tasty yield best pomelo plants from devanhalli grafted to get desirable sweetness with yielding 300 fruits per plant per year rambutan is an exotic fruit of table purpose this has a very good market mangala and mohit nagar varieties of arakanet are more than 15 years old giving very good yield in orchard and plantation crops like coconut and arakanet we have planted nutmeg as a intercrop in between coconut plants we have cut flowers like heliconia bird of paradise anthurium ginger lily and cloves pepper plantation with about 3000 plants with support of silver trees produces a good green pepper which has a huge demand in the market the farm has a special exotic fruit section this is from the r&d department of the farm we have made an attempt to preserve some of the exotic varieties of fruits it has lakota balsa mulberry cherry guava malayan apple white sapota bear jamun plants sweet kumrak kumkat orange durian hot plum and rose apple shri bhaglakshmi farm is proud to say that we are producing a good number of ornamental plants avenue plants indoor and outdoor plants good landscaping tree plants medicinal and aromatic plants on an average in a year 6 to 8 lakhs of touch hybrid rose cuttings is being produced in the farm we are using good techniques to get good success and yield we are the largest producers of dutch roses in karnataka in house vegetable production of potato tomato and capsicum are in progress so in house we are growing uh, colored capsicums the two varieties we are growing and red and uh, hello variety its uh, duration is uh, 16 months on an average we are getting per acre 14 tons at the farm we are diversifying into animal husbandry concentrating on dairy we have 40 milking cows hf and jersey on an average of 100 liters of milk is produced every day sheep rearing is another important aspect to collect the manure we have about 350 sheep of banur and rambule droppings from the sheep is collected and used as manure after 6 months for horticulture agriculture and plantation crops we produce organic manure which is required for the farm in house vermi compost production tanks produce manure from the earthworms nearly 60 tons of organic manure is produced in a year this has increased the soil enrichment texture structure and the fertility in turn increasing production we have developed a technology in house to produce humic acid with cow dung and top soil the farm is fully technology driven it has its own state of the art machineries like tractors and jcbs for better cultivation it is equipped with tools like mb flows levelers crust breakers bund farmers and rotovators for puddling of soil and weeding we also have seed drill for ragi and maize sowing the farm has acute shortage of precious water but gets water through borewell and rain water harvesting we have installed state of the art fodder machines to produce 750 kg of maize green fodder in a day with a very low cost and within minimum space of just one gunta 
Maize produced from the fodder machine is rich in nutrients and it needs minimum water and it does not require much labor to maintain. In all, it is economically viable, rich in nutrients and cows love it. To store rain water and fulfill the farm's needs, we have created five man-made lakes in the farm. From these lakes, about 50,000 to 60,000 liters of water is pumped per hour throughout the farm through drip irrigation and sprinklers. We have got three systems in the farm. All put together, 60,000 liters of water can be utilized very judiciously. Each of these lakes is about an acre wide and about 20 feet deep. We have our own water tankers to bring sewage filtered water in case of need. The farm is self-sufficient. It uses non-conventional energy sources with use of solar paneling, windmill and biogas production unit in sync with Caterpillar diesel generator. We produce 70% of the power consumed in-house. The farm has many golden feathers to its cap. We have been recognized by University of Agricultural Sciences Bangalore GKVK as Best Farmer Award Bangalore South for integrated approach. This award was presented by Honorable Governor Dr. H.R. Bharadwaj Best Coconut Farmer Award at a national level by Coconut Development Board presented by Honorable Agricultural Minister Mr. Sharad Pawar in 2012 Best Horticultural Farmer Award from Horticultural University Bagalkot presented by Mr. Shamnuru Shivashankarappa Horticultural Minister in 2013 In the year 2015 APCC honored C.R. Vijay Kumar for his contribution in the field of coconut cultivation. Sri B.A. Nagaraj gave his passion of farming a new wing by having different species of parrots, ducks, emu, hybrid varieties of pigeon and many more birds to his collection. Not only birds, also Persian cats. Dogs like Mudhol, Golden Retriever, Doberman, Labrador, Great Dane, Mastiff, Husky and Saint Bernard's for breeding. New to his collection is a horse. In a way to say, he has an exotic zoo in the farm. Sri B.A. Nagaraj started the farm to fulfill his father's dreams. This became his passion and he made it into a successful business venture. Now, he is moving on to achieve beyond the obvious.